welcome to another video on node analysis but before we proceed i would like to ask you to uh, hit the like button and subscribe to support this channel um in this problem we are required to find the voltage across the 3 ohm resistor and the current flowing through the 2 ohm resistor and to do this we'll be using node analysis um the first thing we want to do is that we want to identify our um essential nodes that is nodes that have more than three branches at least three branches connected to them so we have this node which has one two three four branches connected to it we have this node which has one two three branches connected to it we have another one one two three branches this is usually more convenient um to choose the node with the highest number of um branches connected to it as the reference node so for that reason we will be choosing this node as our reference node and then we come and we number the other nodes that will be node one and this will be node two and by choosing this to be our reference node we mean that the node voltage at this node is zero so we come to node one and we write the um, kcl equation at node one so um at uh node one at node one we have um this branch so um the vote the current flowing through this branch should be v1 minus 0 divided by 3 v1 minus 0 divided by 3 then the current flowing through this branch would be v1 minus 21 because um it is like uh, these are series opposing um, voltages, the voltage V1 and the um, 21 volts uh, power source are series opposing. So that would be V1 minus 21, then minus 0, minus 0 divided by 4. Then we come to this branch. Uh, what you notice is that there is no resistance in this branch, so it is quite a bit difficult to write the current flowing through the branch. So what we do is um, we assign a current to the branch. Let's call that current I1. I1. And since the current is leaving, we make it positive. So plus I1 equals zero. Okay. So um, we then proceed to node two. Then at uh, node 2. So at node 2, what we do is we write the current for this branch, and that will be V2 minus 0 divided by 2. Then we write for this branch, that would be V2 divided by, um, that would be V2 minus 0 divided by 6. That's this branch. Then we'll write for this branch. Since the current I1 is entering the node, so it will be minus I1 equals zero. So um from here we can say that um, um I1 making I1 subject of the formula, we can say I1 is equal to V over 2 plus v2 over 6 so that is what i1 is then we can go ahead and substitute it here so we'd have an equation that looks like this v1 divided by 3 plus v1 minus 21 over 4 plus v Two divided by two plus v two divided by six all equals to zero, right? So we can then proceed uh, to multiply true by um twenty four. If we do that, we would have eight v one plus six v1 minus 
126 plus 12v2 plus 4v2 equals 0. Okay. And then we write this as 14v1 plus 16 v2 equals 126 and we can make this our um first equation then um the next thing we do is um look we look at these two notes we have um, omitted something very important there you see if you were to take a multimeter or a voltmeter to be specific uh and you put the positive terminal the negative terminal here and the positive terminal here you get a reading of uh, 9 volts because a 9 volts battery is connected across it so using that um using that um thought process we can say that uh v2 is greater than v1 by 9 volts so we can say that um v2 minus v1 equals 9 and we can call that our second equation we can then proceed to solve this equation simultaneously and we will arrive at the voltage uh, the values of the node voltage is v1 and v2 After we solve this simultaneously we would arrive at v1 being equals to um minus 0 0.6 volts and um v2 V2 would be equals to 8.4 volts. And we were asked to um, find the value of um, the V, that's the voltage drop across um, the 3 ohm resistor. So V would be equals to V1 minus um, 0 equals V1 minus 0, which would be equals to minus 0 0.6 volts. And um, the current I will be equal to V2 minus 0 divided by 2. Uh, so I would be equal to V2 minus 0 divided by 2 ohms. And that would be 4.2 amperes. Um, thank you for watching my video. Please do not forget to like and subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye.